Hey friends, this is Dolan ETV. Glad to have you aboard this morning as we get set up for what will be likely, well, I, I at least hope so, our last quiet weekend before this NHL offseason ramps up once more and the Edmonton Oilers finish off their business they've got to attend to here over the next, well, few days, right? I, I think we're now squarely just about 28 days so four weeks exactly to the end of the month of august that's plenty of time i understand that but for the oilers right now uh you got to get leon dry signed at least before the end of august sometime in there so you want to have that done sometime in the next 20 to 22 days and then of course you got to figure out holloway you got to figure out broberg you got to figure out cap compliancy evander kane and cody cc so plenty to be done yet if you're the Edmonton Oilers here in the month of August. But like I said, today very well might be the quietest uh, weekend we have left of the summer at this point. So if you're new to the channel, friends, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button here on the channel today. Uh, just simply put, uh, you don't have to do it on the video right now. I just tell you to go check out the videos from previous, check out the channel a little bit, and you tell me what's up. So right now as it sits for the Oilers, friends, yeah, we're on the weekend, right? I, I think we've gone through a week that's been fairly quiet for Oilers news. I think the biggest thing kind of released by the Oilers themselves was the Hall of Fame additions of, of course, Dr. Randy Gregg and Craig McTavish. Other than that, it's been a pretty quiet week in oil country, and that's not a bad thing. I think that's something that was desperately needed after what has been a... I mean, you go back to that last week of August, right, as we were ramping up towards Captain Skates starting on the holiday Monday or whatever it was, the Tuesday following the holiday Monday in September. Uh, you, you think through everything we went through in early October, the Heritage Classic, November, the coach firing, obviously Chris Knobloch coming aboard, the win streaks, and then trade deadline talk, and then obviously closing out the season, and getting into the playoffs and then yeah it's, it's it wasn't it wasn't just a couple of rounds of playoffs where the Oilers had some success it is a playoff round this year where the Oilers had the second best success out of any team and fell a goal and a half short of winning the Stanley Cup in game seven of the finals so it's kind of crazy to me that I'm sitting here almost asking for things to ramp up again just considering how nice it is to kind of have this little bit of a break in the calendar right now, right? I think it's, I think it's only fair that at some point, us crazy Oilers fans do indeed get to enjoy the summer. And there are things to tend to, obviously, in daily life. There's things to tend to, summer-wise and stuff we have to take care of. So, yeah, you know, it's it's not bad that it's kind of quieted down over the past week, two weeks, whatever you want to say. But it would be nice kind of pick up here again and get the business that we still know is needing to be tended to tended to because at the end of the day you don't want to leave dry still unsigned we've kind of had a warning from his agent early in the off season about that and then secondary as well you want to make sure you're loading up Holloway and Broberg ASAP so as they uh they are back in the mix before training camp kind of get that captain skates in them they've been on Oilers social media so I understand they should be back around ASAP once dry settle signed. Maybe the similar thing with Bouchard, there are contract waiting and it's just kind of waiting for the day that uh, Bouchard's in town or whatever the case was last summer, right? I think I was out on the golf course when that happened last year up in Cold Lake. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where we sit right now, friends. It's just a quiet weekend lining up for what should be a busy next few weeks in oil country. I mean, even if we don't necessarily get anything out of uh out of this week we should hear a lot more on kind of numbers for the dry settle contract we should hear another update from bob on kind of everything that's going to unfold on how it happens and i think too you'll hear some other stories about kind of what's going to happen with broberg and holloway once the story around dry settle starts solidifying over the course of the next week or two so friends stall on your tv thanks for being aboard here this afternoon this morning whenever you're tuning in see my eyeballs they're barely open but i got another busy day to get to so on words we go have a great day we'll talk to you soon